Good morning. Uh, this is Donna. Uh, my channel name is Gummy Doolittle. And we are all thinking fall. And actually, fall is coming up next week, uh, September the 23rd. And we are looking for um, cooler weather um, and some different types of fall uh, recipes. I have an ideal. Um, in the summertime, we go over to the beach a lot and we um, camp out. And at Cayucas, it's a little small uh, area on the west coast because I'm from Bakersfield. And there's a little restaurant called Duckies. And they have the best um, fish and chips, crab cakes, uh, crab salads, and one of the dishes that I like is a Manhattan red chowder. So I'm thinking fall and chowder, and I went and bought me some uh, Tabasco sauce. Uh, I found some recipes that also call for red pepper flakes. I'm not really into the real hot spicy stuff. I have to be real careful with that. But I want to make the chowder a um, low carb, low sugar, uh, because I'm a diabetic. And uh, my husband and I do less than 2,000 milligrams of sodium, and so we don't add any extra salt to our meals. And we try to read labels. And, but in the uh, Manhattan Red Chowder, they put in uh, potatoes, and I'm thinking turnips. It's got um, approximately anywhere from four to eight, probably about eight grams for an eight ounce, or excuse me, for a cup of turnips, it runs about uh, eight grams of uh, carbs about 28 calories, so that's really good. And it's got about 3.4, uh, almost four grams of fiber. And then it has the natural sugar. What I'd like to do is not do the potatoes or the carrots, and I wanna substitute for turnips. Um, I looked up some recipes and I found a real simple one and never heard of clam juice because I don't do a lot of that fish uh, recipes. But um, definitely looking for some alternative vegetables to put in my uh, soup. Um, I got me some new seasonings and like I said, I do have the Tabasco sauce and um, I found a recipe where you can do that. I don't necessarily want to use the clams either. Um, I'm thinking either some crab, uh, maybe some shrimp, or actually using chicken in the chowder. Um, I'm going to put in my onions and my celery and, um, you know, my tomato base and things like that. If anybody's ever made this type of a chowder and you have a recipe that you like, could you, like, make a comment or send me your recipe and give me some ideas? Um, I did find some really nice recipes for turnips, since turnips is on my mind. And you can do french fries, air fry, you can bake, uh, you can roast them. I didn't know that. I usually always just chopped them up, put them in a little pot, kind of, you know, make a, like boil them and then add uh, butter and uh, pepper to it. So I'm looking for a few changes there. Uh, what do you do with your turnips? What do you put your turnips in? I'd love to have some feedback on that. If you get a chance today, uh, could you give me a thumbs up to share with family and friends? And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. And I hope to be doing some new videos as time goes on. I'm just learning. I have a lot of shorts on. Uh, with my great-grandson, uh, which is autistic, and he's nonverbal. He's a runner. And uh, so go in and check out some of my uh, little video shorts. Um, it's really interesting. And um, I uh, definitely are looking for ideals for a diabetic meals, 
uh, low salt, low sugar, um, no added salt, and um, I'm not real great with seasonings and definitely need a lot of ideals there. Thank you, and you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell, and we will see you on the next time.